Hello everyone. Today we're doing the um, Shiva 3 star upgrade battle. It's the newest Esper released on Global. Uh, so the missions for this one are clear in 5 turns or more. And notice that this is 5 turns or longer. This is not a speed kill. You have to slow kill Shiva for the mission. You know, it's easy to miss. Um, Evoke Ifrit is a mission and party of 5 or less. Now for this team I'm using, I'm actually going to not bring a friend at all. So for the five or less, we're going with no companion. Um, so the team I'm going to be using, it's going to be a budget team, no rainbows. But, uh, you know, trials are getting a little bit harder. And I'm going to be using three trust masteries, uh, three cheap trust masteries on this team. And it's going to be on Warrior of Light. His trust masteries are going to be the 20-sided dice from Saz. That's a three-star trust mastery. He's also using Quick Assault from Shine, it's a 4 star, and Evade from Sin, it's another 3 star Trust Mastery. Now you can use 2 Quick Assaults, 2 Evades, but with this setup, you'll notice he's in 100% Evasion gear. And because I'm not using a friend unit, of course, you could get a friend Evade tank and you don't need your own, and then, then you wouldn't need any Trust Masteries at all. But his gear, um, aside from being uh, Evasion equipped, is he's got 100% 100% ice resist because of um, you know his gear ice shield and he's on he's on Shiva. Uh, Rosa is going to be my healer as well as she can do mana regen and she can also um, double cast Dispelga, which is an AOE and peril remover if you redirect it to your team and I'll be showing you that during the fight. And the whole team is geared for 100% ice resist. And we're also going to be geared for silence immunity on units that matters. So she's got the siren to for a silence immunity. Uh, Garnet's going to be my DPS. She's going to be doing summoning, and she's you know geared for summoning magic. And she's also you know silence immune, 100% ice resist. And she's enhanced, so she can get ice resist easier with her enhancements. In case you didn't realize that. Uh, Veritas of the Heavens is going to be a chainer. He's not really for damage, he's only for chaining. Now you can use any chainer you want. You know, Veritas of the Heavens is not a popular unit to level. If you've got a different chainer, like, you know, Orlando, Agrius, etc., etc., any chainer is fine. But we're going with I Veritas of the Heavens for a few reasons. Uh, for one thing, he can wear heavy armor, so he can wear, you know, ice armor. You can craft more of those for free. Uh, so you can get 100% ice resist pretty easy, and he's got a nice long chaining ability that hits. Um, 20 times with dual wield, and that's you know very convenient. And then the second route to be have been the same thing. They perfect chain together. He's geared for ice resist, not his damage. If he's only here for building the chain, you know he's dual wielding with the second mic. We got that from an old event. If you have regular dual wield, that's fine too. Uh, but that's the team we're going to be using. So let's get into it. Now, as you notice, the entire team is 100% immune to ice, so we don't have to worry about um, that. But the boss does do an imperil, and for that, we're going to be um, removing that with Rosa. All right, so Warrior of Light is going to light is with us. That's going to uh, cover the whole team. Brutus of the Heavens are going to Heavenly Wind for their chaining. Garnet is going to just fill the Esper Gauge. Oh, let's go ahead and do those chains. Now this is just for, for Esper Crystals. It's not going to deal you know, hardly any damage. We're not, having, we're not having too much luck on those Esper Crystals. That's alright. Alright, and Rosa is going to Bless. Now I did enhance her Bless. If you got a better mana battery, you know, like Ace, a bard, or something, then that's fine too. And there's the boss's AoE physical, which, as you can see, Warrior of Light is negating entirely. Because it's pretty painful if you don't. As you can see, it hits a whole lot of times. And the boss is doing Osmos, which does drain your mana a little bit, but that's why we've got Rosa to counteract that. I'm actually going to turn off the spell effects because, you know, they're a little bit laggy in this fight. Alright, so Warrior of Light is going to, um, let's see, reduce defense and spirit. Now we can break the boss's spirit, 
Uh, not her defense, but her spirit can be broken. So we did, we did that. Uh, Varitas of the Heavens will chain. Now, we didn't quite fill the Esper Gate with Garnet, so we're going to have to fill that up. Okay, so we got the Esper Gate for next turn. Excellent. And let's just bless again. Now there's the AoE, you know, Ice Damage, it's Hitness. We're immune. The AoE physical, we're immune. Uh, we have not been imperiled yet. That's good. Alright, so Heavenly Wind, Heavenly Wind. We're going to chain Ifrit this time. Uh, so we're just going to bless Warrior of Light. Will Light is with us. And let's go ahead and chain and summon Ifrit. Okay, there's a nice Ifrit hit. Okay. Uh, so let's see. So let's go ahead and break defense and spirit again. Are we imperiled yet? We're not. Eventually the boss is going to imperil us. I think at 80%. So let's see. So let's bless. Let's build the Esper Gage back up with Garnet. And we'll Heavenly Wind with these two. Oh, not quite on the Esper Crystals. Alright, so now we've got the Imperil, as you can see, um, where Ice Resist is lowered. So to fix that, what we're going to do... Let me check one thing. Yeah, okay. So we're going to dual cast White. Now the way you fix this is you dual cast a Heal and a Spellga. You start the cast, and then you force target your team and the Dispelga will cure your team. Now, as you can see, we have been completely dispelled. We have no, um, no Ice Imperil. So, but you do need to put your boss back up. So, we're going to... Light is with us. Uh, Garnet is going to fill the Esper Gage. So, next turn we can do that. Now, these two are... Because we have the Esper Gage filled already, we're just going to guard. Oh, we got a hit off on Rosa. That's unfortunate. But not too big of a deal. We can fix that. So let's go ahead and raise Rosa up. Yeah, Warrior Blight, he, he took his time to cover. But it's fine. Alright, so we're going to summon Bayamit. And we're going to Heavenly Wind with these two. So we're going to summon Bayamit a little bit first, because it's kind of slow. And then we're going to start the chain. There we go. So there was the Imperil, I think, from the... Um... Oh, no, no Imperil. That's good. Okay. Uh, so Rose is going to... Let's see, this is a 20% mana heal. Will that give him enough to chain? It will. Oh, no, we don't need to chain anyway. So let's go ahead and bless this turn. Yeah, let's bless. Let's refresh cover. Let's limit gauge with Garnet. And then we'll just punch with these two. Try to fill that Esper gauge. Oh, not quite. I should have given Warrior of Light some kind of counterattack ability for this. I didn't think of it. Uh, okay, so because we don't have... Um... Let's see if we can get an extra crystal of Rosa. Oh, not quite. Uh, okay, so no extra crystals this round. That's fine. We'll just prayer of the Eidolons and punch with these two. All right, so the next threshold attack is at sixty percent. Oh, seriously, Warrior Light, you're so bad at covering. Alright, so are we imperiled? We're not. That's annoying. Alright, so we'll just heal. It doesn't matter because if anyone anyone takes damage in this fight, they're dead. Alright. 
Alright. Uh, so we are we in Carol? It would not. Alright, Warrior of Light's gonna cover. And is she still spirit broken? She is. So we're going to summon Bayamut. And we're gonna chain. Let's see, Heavenly Wind. Heavenly Wind. Let's summon Bayamut. Wait just a sec and then chain. Excellent, 39%. Alright, uh, so Rosa will just bless again. Oh, she healed. What a shame. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so we're, we're imperiled with ice, and remember how we cure that. We dual wipe, we heal, and dispelga. So we dispelga, and then we retarget that to ourselves. Uh, we put back up cover after that. And these two will just hit. Alright, are we imperiled? We're not. So we're going to go ahead and plus. We're going to break the spirit. And let's go ahead and do Bayamut again. Er, yeah, Bayamut. And we Heavenly Wind. Heavenly Wind. Summon Bayamut. Wait just a sec. And then Chain. Excellent. So one or two more cast and we're done. And that was another threshold, so we're Imperiled again. And of course the boss healed himself again. But as you can see, Imperil, so we gotta get rid of that. So Rosa will dual cast. Heal and Dispelga. Let's redirect that dispel go to our team. Our imperil is gone. We need to put up Lightus with us again. Uh, we're going to fill the Us Brigade so we can bay him at next turn. So that should be the last of the thresholds with the cures and the... Oh, come on! Warrior of Light, you're such a bad tank! Sigh. Alright, so we got to fix that. Um, so let's go ahead and just raise Garnet. Because Warrior of Light's slacking on his job. Alright, so we're going to break the spirits. So we're ready for next turn. Rosa is going to give Bless again. And we'll just have to wait. We lost someone. There we go, Warrior of Light. Thank you for deciding to cover. Alright. So it's Heavenly Wind, Heavenly Wind, let's Bayamut, and let's summon Bayamut, wait one, two, summon the chain, or do the chain. Alright, so next turn we should have this. Let's go ahead and bless, actually let's, let's let him break Rosa, flat MP restore, and let's light is with us again. Go ahead and, let's go ahead and chain with these two, try to get some limit crystals, see if we can do, get Garnet's limit gauge. Alright, we did. Excellent. So let's limit gauge with Garnet for the Esper. Uh, we'll Spirit Break again, we'll do Blast for Mana Regen. Alright, so next turn we're going to win, as long as Warrior of Light doesn't... Oh, Warrior of Light! You're so bad at this game! <laughs> Alright, so we gotta raise people. And are items allowed for these for this mission? Uh yes, we can use items. So we'll Phoenix down as well. Now if you've got, like I said, Bosch who has or if your Warrior of Light is enhanced. My Warrior of Light is actually not enhanced. So he's um He's got a low chance to AoE cover, so that's why it's failing so often. But of course, if yours is enhanced, then you won't have these problems. It's not a problem, it's just slowing the fight down, because Warrior of Light cannot die. He's, in, he's, he's you know immune to death. Because the boss only imperils on thresholds, which are all done. So no matter what, Warrior of Light will never die. 
So, you know, we can't wipe. Because he, he, he can cast Resurrection if need be. It just slows it down quite a bit. But anyway, we're done. We win. Uh, so we summoned Ifrit. So we're going to... We're going to summon Ifrit anyway, again, for the finish. Alright, so let's go ahead and chain and summon Ifrit. There's Ifrit for the killing blow. Excellent. So we got all the missions. Not too bad. A little slow. And again, if you can't build your own Evasion Warrior of Light or any Evasion tank, take a friend. You know, I, I left the friend slot intentionally empty to um, you know, leave that open for whatever you can't build on your own team. But there is a three-star Shiva. All missions complete. Good luck to the rest of y'all.